What's up, everybody? It is strange times, and we are cooped up here in the homestead, but at least we are using our time productively. We are making something beautiful on this noisy Sunday. Don't you know it? So what we are going to be doing today, as you can see, I have a couple of different angles with which we can look at things, and um, what we're going to be doing is actually recording a acoustic guitar line for our Bowie track. So I've got a couple of channels set up to record in Pro Tools, just using standard mic one and mic two inputs on my interface, and what I'm going to do is just get ready to record. That's what I'm going to do. Um, so I've got my acoustic guitar back here. This guitar means so much to me. Uh, I'm just going to grab it and kind of hold it up to the camera a little bit. And uh, <clears throat> may have put a little bit of nice B-roll on the video for you. But this guitar in particular was one that... Uh, was given to me by my grandfather uh, before he passed away. And I'm actually going to use it on this song because I want to hear it. I want to hear it on this particular part. Every time I think about this part, I think about this guitar and the way it sounds and just the way it sounds to my childhood and to, you know, the way it speaks to me and my heart. It's uh, it's a heavy thing, but it's a, it's a beautiful thing at the same time. So I just want to hear it on this song, and uh, we're going to record it. And that's all there is to it. So um, I'm going to go ahead and get in front of the mics. I have two microphones set up over here, um, right here. So we have the blue Bluebird set up and the Sennheiser E906 set up. I'm going to record pretty much uh, this portion, if you can see where my finger's pointing, this portion of the guitar. So I'm not going to record over here where my fingers are going to be hitting. I'm going to record over here, kind of off, off axis, so to speak. Uh, I've watched a number of videos, and I've done a little bit of recording of acoustic guitars in my day, but I've recorded it more direct and center, and I want to capture the more kind of woody tones of the instrument. That's the purpose of why I'm using this guitar in particular. So I want to experiment with the way that sounds, and uh, let's just get ready to go. So I'm going to get set up in front of the microphones and start checking some levels. Okay, it's coming in kind of weak, so I'm going to go ahead and adjust the input. So we got some audio on mic one, but we got almost nothing on mic two, so let's just turn her up a little bit. Let's see what we got. That's something. It's a lot more of something. Yep, I can hear it. That's for sure. Let's turn it up. We want to go for... Let's just flip over to the mixing board. We want to go for about... Right up halfway above, up, up the scale. You know, about negative 19, negative 20, negative 19. 
average volume. Now, I don't think I'm anywhere close, but let's see what we got. Well, mic one is on the money, I think, right now. It's actually coming in a little hot, so I'm going to turn it down a little bit. I just want to touch. I just want to kiss negative 19. I don't want to go too far past it. All right, so overcompensated a little bit. Being my own engineer, people. That's what I'm doing, right? So I'm checking levels, I'm playing the notes, and I'm watching the levels, and I'm listening with my ears with, you know, see how it sounds here. Now let's uh let's pan them and see how it sounds. I bet it sounds pretty cool. So two different mic flavors here. I love how that sounds. And I may not keep that panning. I may flip them, but I I just love how two slightly different microphones pick pick picks it up and then uh you know plays it back allows you to hear it it just it gets it closer right to to how the human ear to me how that hears it so pretty sweet okay now i believe that one's coming in a touch hot and i think that one's a touch too quiet so let's just correct see if we can get All right, so key things, just in my experience, uh, don't fucking breathe <laughs> when, you, when you're recording acoustic guitars. Get all the breathing and laughing and all that shit out of the way because if you're recording acoustics and you do that, the mics are picking that up too. So just FYI, you're going to get that on the recording. So don't fucking breathe. Um, and... Just don't make any other noise. If your chair is creaky, any of that sort of stuff, you just got to be mindful of it. Uh, pay attention to your distance and also make it look good on video. You know, that's what I'm doing here too, oddly enough. Um, but what I'm going to do now, guys, is we're going to get ready to record here. And I'm just going to get as many bars of this as possible, mainly. I'm not going to worry too much about getting the perfect number of bars. I'm just going to worry about being in time and just getting a lot of bars. And I'll mix in later uh, the bars that sound good. 
So let's get ready to record. Uh, we're going to hear this over a good bit of noise, which again, we haven't mixed or arranged in again yet either. We're just, uh, we're just recording stuff, getting ideas in here, and then we'll get all our intro arranged and all that good stuff later. So, uh, that's the name of the game for today. Let's get ready to record here. And uh, make sure our tempo track, see how that sounds. All right, now we're going to go ahead and get ready to record these acoustic jams. I'm going to go ahead and um, maybe just record onto the voice track as well and maybe mix it in as a room tone. We'll see. We'll see how it sounds. I'm going to go ahead and swing this back a little and just capture some of the room tone. Get ready to record here. I think we did what we came to do, albeit with a little bit of setup time. Uh, we got a couple of different uh, fucking angles for the videos. Um, we got un an unplanned room tone that we get to figure out uh, how that mixes in. But ultimately, I think we did what we came to do. So let's just check out how a few of those bars sound and we'll pick only the best, only the best to play in the final version of the intro. But uh, let's let's uh, let's preview how it sounds a little bit. Let's 
get rid of that click. Fuck that. It's exactly how I want it to sound. Exactly. Actually, I think it sounds killer, killer with that room tone. I'm so glad I decided to do that. Um, so, yeah, guys, acoustic guitar tracks, <laughs> guitar tracks. And I'm just going to point out again, I had the microphone positioned. OK, I'm going to hold the guitar up to the camera. I had it positioned basically right here. OK, not right here where my fingers were down here at the corner why did i do that because i happen to like how that sounds on the microphone i've tried a few different ways and i wanted this way uh and i think i got it you know i noticed uh the second mic was coming in a little less hot uh so we'll see you know uh what what bars sound the best i can always equalize the volume on both sides uh but i think we did what we came to do on a sunday until next time <laughs> Thank you.